Oh, 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 no, that doesn't fucking work. Wait there. <coughs> I didn't bring a tripod with me, so you're just going on the fucking... You're just going on the window ledge, mate. I mean, I don't really like that angle. <sighs> Fuck it. The Undertaker. Alright, how are we doing, people? <sighs> no, you, these are the things you have to consider, right, when you got long hair. You can't just drink something or eat something, because... You end up with noodles in it. And by noodles, I mean your hair. So, anyway, I'm in a holiday inn. I'm absolutely killing it, mate. Look at me. This is that luxury life. This is that YouTube life when you're making that YouTube money. Anyway, I'm down here just because I'm doing a shoot with Bolt Padders tomorrow. So, I'm in London. And I'm editing a video and I thought I'd just pick up a camera and chat to it. Because sometimes you get this urge to, like, chat to a camera well i mean obviously i'm speaking for myself like maybe you don't i mean i expect you don't otherwise maybe you would but um and i don't always have a plan for what i'm going to say to be honest because i feel like i just like speaking you know well I, ideally i like interacting i hope one day people can like you, you can do live shit can't you on youtube where people can like respond in t at the time like but then it's not really a conversation because everyone just let's just like throws in mad comments and shit and they go like a million miles an hour. Anyway, the point I'm trying to fucking circumvent to. Circumvent? No, that's a void. Circum... Circum... No. The point I'm trying to get to is I don't know what. I'm on a video, really. I just felt like videoing. And I think that's probably true of like... Maybe I'll just talk. That's probably true of a lot of my YouTube career. It's probably one of the things that's held me back YouTube-wise in terms of like all out pure growth like in terms of just numbers but obviously that's not really a bad thing is it in fact it's not a bad thing at all except for monetarily but in, in every other aspect it's actually better to have a smaller youtube i i think like which is weird like i'm not because i'm not just saying that like i fucking believe that one which is which is pretty mad um when you think about it but yeah one of the things like <laughs> there's no plan man that's one of the things that's really probably like kept my channel pretty fucking niche um like if you ever like you have to be a guy man and i'm not a guy <laughs> don't sound bite me on that right what what i'm saying is someone's collecting the bins mate what i'm saying is if you ever read about marketing and shit like that so one of the there's like five p's or like seven p's or like there's a million p's and they all stand for different shit it's like pricing fucking anyway the point is, one of the P's is uh, positioning. And so it's like, you have to, if you have a brand or a product or whatever, you're supposed to position yourself in the market clearly, which which basically means, um, like, it's basically so text for put yourself in a fucking easily defined box so that everyone looks at you and instantly recognizes like what you are, like, and there's no ambiguity there. It's just like, right, this is, for example, like this is this guy and he's he's this guy, like, you know. So it's a bit like being a fucking being a YouTuber is a bit like being a or being a career YouTuber is a bit like being a career politician one. It's like it's a lot like it really. In, in bad ways, like that's why you shouldn't be a career YouTuber really. But anyway, um so back to the the positioning thing, like for example Let's say you're a fitness YouTuber, you should be like the intermittent fasting guy or the keto guy or the fucking science guy or, you know, whatever whatever guy. Like, you should be a guy, man. I'm not really a guy, am I? I'm just a fucking, I'm just an abstract guy, man. Because, cause like, when you look at the, when you, <laughs> there's absolutely no thought gone into this channel, man. When you look at, like, uh like my videos, you go, you can go back and you get like, you can get like, party in an Ibiza, Tinder tutorial, informative fitness shit, fucking going off on a tangent for three hours Q and A about life, travel vlog shit. There's just no rhyme or reason, mate. I'm not a guy. And like, I just don't think I'm gonna be one. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
obviously I've thought about it in the past, like maybe you should focus more on this content or focus more on that content, you know, and like channel yourself, niche yourself. Basically, it's another way of saying like find your niche, isn't it, really? That's all I'm saying, or your niche. It depends how you want to fucking pronounce it, I don't really know. Um, because that's what's good for you, like, if you want to just make fucking dough, man. I do want to make dough, obviously, you know what I mean? Making dough, making dough is sick, mate. But, like, within reason, like, you know what I mean? Because I just can't fucking bring myself to go in it, to be a guy, man. I, 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 I'm a guy. I'm a lad. I'm male. I mean, I, I can't bring... This isn't, like, a trans admission video. I mean, like, I can't bring myself to just be in a fucking... To do one kind of thing, man. So I'm just going to do, like, some informative shit. Some vlog shit, some Q and A shit, some of all kinds of fucking shit, man. And as long as I try and make it all like good or like worth watching, then I suppose that's just my plan, like. But I'm not. I'm just not gonna be a guy, man. I'm just not gonna be a specific fucking dude because it's just not. I get too bored, mate. I just don't want to, cause I, I just don't want any any aspect of anything about me life to reflect like just a one-dimensional human, man. I always saw myself as like I was when I was young, right? I was I always like liked being somebody. It was weird, like see again, it's just wrapped up in like self image and shit. But I always liked being someone who had like very varying interests that don't necessarily go together. Do you know what I mean? Like a bit of a chameleon, man. You know what I mean? I don't know what the point is, but I just felt like chatting. This, I guess this is gonna be the start of a vlog, so. We'll see what else happens. Uh, I might show you some like photo shoot today, but I don't know. I probably won't because photo shoot's kind of boring, man. Anyway, that was the intro to me fucking vlog in the morning. Don't know if I chatted shit. Probably did. It's sound. Underlying theme. General point. I'm just going to be Joey D, man. I'm just going to fully let go of like the idea of having a niche, mate. We're staying on the ground, people. All right. This hair is fucking annoying. Stay tuned to see it fuck off. <laughs> this is what like footy would be like if you're on a planet with like turbo gravity. This is what footy's like on Jupiter, man. <laughs> oh, that's that's neat. He's going there. That's fine. <laughs> Show us your best roundhouse on the bag. Best roundhouse? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. Uh, He's a run up, do, three, do a full 360. Are you these red shorts? 720. 720 spin, followed by, follow by, follow by a Chuck Norris special one. Can I do it? Should I do an air one? Go on, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow that was so <laughs> sick. Oh my god, it's. It's almost broke. Better be 120 frames per second so you can slow that right down. Hey, one more one. Talk us through it. Someone commentate. Yeah. Wow! Are you kidding That's me? That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in a thousand fights! Alright, so we're in a sick place. Some studio or something like that. We've been doing ninja attacks on the punch bags. Thurston to do slow mo flying knees. Anyway, we, we're doing team Nando's, mate, because that's what fitness people do in it. Fitness people, like, first port of call on any kind of feed is Nando's. I'm gonna re stuff. You always manage to just get it.
I mean, tell me if he's workspace. Time's come for the appointment, man. This shit's getting, getting chopped off. I'm just gonna get into it. Yes, 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 the fucking people. What's that, man? So, the experiment has finally come to a close, man. The, like, must be like two and a half or three years, man. The two and a half to three year hair growth experiment, the see what Joey D looks like with long hair experiment, it's finally come to a pretty abrupt end, to be honest. I, uh, I wasn't really thinking about getting it cut for that long before I actually did it. I was one, one day I was just pretty much like, nah, you know what, I think, I think I'm kind of done with this. So I just belled Tommy B and I was like, hey lad, can you snip this shit for me? And he was like, yeah, get to ours, I'll snip it for you. So I got to his and he snipped it for me, man. And now we're here. And uh, uh, what to say about him, man, where to start? It was fucking, I mean, I'm, for a start, right, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I did it. Like, it was, it was a learning process, man. And, and the thing is, like, I didn't really go into it with any expectations. It was like, just an experiment, really. I just wanted to a see what it was, see what it would look like, and b I just felt like I felt like it would be kind of weird to just never grow your hair, man. Cause like it is always growing. Do you know what I mean? I reckon I'm gonna live to like a hundred, and yeah, your hair is always growing, man. And so like if you're constantly resisting that your whole life, it seems like fucking crazy to me, man. You know what I mean? Like, all you have to do to grow your hair is just nothing. Like, all you have to do is not do anything, man. That's the easiest possible thing in the world, like. Uh, and so, like, I just didn't want to get old as fuck and look back at pictures of myself and just see, oh, uh, short back and sides, 2001, short back and sides, 2021, short back and sides, 2041, you know. I just feel like that was a bit, like, I would have left one avenue. <coughs> would have left one avenue of variety unexplored man you know what i mean i want all the variations and everything i want to see if i look like a fucking clown with big long curly hair man it turns out i do it doesn't really matter man because your haircut doesn't really matter you know and although i would get some quite passionate messages and comments and stuff like pleading with me to cut my hair you know if you allow me to state the fucking obvious for a minute it's actually irrelevant in it mate like Obviously, I know that for a lot of the time, maybe like 99% of it, I did look like a scruff. And like, in the eyes of most, probably just like less attractive to the opposite sex, you know, on account of being a scruff. And whether you're single or got, got a bird, like that's still a thing, whether it's in your conscious or subconscious mind, like even just being less appealing to like other males to look at on a non-sexual basis, like, you know, and I was fully aware of that, like, I'm like, yeah, listen, I know I'm not, like, at my peak. I know I'm not, like, fully fucking pristine every day. Like, I wake up in the morning, roll out of bed, look in the mirror, I'm like, bit of a dog today. All right, let's make some coffee. You know what I mean? What's next? So what? It really matter, does it? Because, like, although those, every, all that surface level shit, you know, the fucking clothes you wear, you know, how fucking shiny is your car, mate? Have you, got a, have you got a sick car, mate? You know, all that shit, obviously it can have in it can have some like impact on like you know impressions on people and shit like that but you should never outweigh like just being a being a solid dude like you know what i mean it's not it's not the main thing like and if you can't live without like without like feeling like you're you know at your complete optimal at all times like aesthetically then i, I view that as insecurity in a way like i feel like it's good to 
sometimes like well maybe not for everyone but for me it was good to think like yeah maybe I'm a bit of maybe I'm a bit of a hound one at times like you know what I mean because I've got my hair isn't really well suited to growing it because it goes frizzy as fuck it's just just genetics mate you know and so like after an hour or something literally out of the shower it'd just be a, just be a joke mate and uh when I've got to do like the odd photo, I mean I'm not like I don't do like proper modeling shit. But when I got to do the odd photo shoot and stuff for like companies that I work with, you do get a bit self conscious. You're like fuck me, I, I you know a bit of a, bit of a, like scruffy motherfucker here. But you get over it, man, because you're like it's not the main thing, is it, mate? You know what I mean? There's more important shit like the actual words that come out of your mouth and like you know, how you actually like treat people, man, and like what you do, like. That's not your impact, man. Your your haircut ain't your impact, like, um, and it's just one of the many things, like, it's just one of the many things that's not a thing. Like, I I half thought about just getting my haircut and then just carrying on video in and just not even mention it. Just turn up with turn up with my haircut in a video and just be like, right, so they were doing chest or like, you know, whatever it was, just to really highlight the sheer like insignificance of it right because you know your haircut doesn't really matter does it clothes you wear they don't really fucking matter you know like the car you drive doesn't really fucking matter you know how impressive people think your career is doesn't really fucking matter how attractive other people think your girlfriend or boyfriend or cat is doesn't really fucking matter you know if they like your carpet it doesn't really matter, mate. You know what I mean? Because that's not you. That's not where you put your imprint on shit. Um. Anyway, that's all obvious as fuck shit. But whatever. Still, I'm just rambling, aren't I? So. Anyway, now we're here. Don't know what I'm gonna do next. I might. Fuck knows, mate. I'll just make it up as go along, like everything. See you later. Jordan Lenny is my hero.